let's pivot to a couple buy sell holes before we get out of here. And I think, you know, the very first one on the list has got to be Puka Nakua because how can it not be right now? Um, Our Lord and Savior. And so what, you know, what, what do we do with Puka Nakua right now? I mean, first of all, all the guys that said you can't draft wide receivers in the third round can't even be in this fucking conversation. You guys got to go to the back of the fucking line and shut the fuck up from now on. I heard one of them being like, if I had a Puka Nakua, like, shut up. You don't have you don't have them. Shut up. You don't get to talk about what you should do with them. That's a stupid statement to make in general. And I'm I'm not here for it. And I hate your staunch attitude. Everybody makes mistakes. Right. We miss a ton. But the way you go about it with this Puka, it could have never been good. Right. And you better saw. Right. Look at the historical data. All right. Enough. Anyway. So at this point, the answer is you got to you got to hold. If you could get a first and get out of Puka Nakua right now, you're not taking it. Depends. Is it project? I mean, I know it's hard to say this early, but is it a team that I don't think is going to last? So it's going to be a mid to high first. I mean, I'm tempted, but if it's a late yeah. first, I don't think I'm holding, man. You caught lightning in a bottle. You, you ride this out. I th- I yeah, think. I mean, uh, I can't be mad at you if you turn. I could. I can't be mad at you if last week you turned him for a two, and I can't be mad at this week if you turn him for a one. And I also can't be mad if you just hold on and see what the fuck happens. I mean, obviously it can't be this good. There must be some regression drink to the mean <laughs> drink, right? So like, there's got to be. And Cooper Cup's probably coming back. They did say that they expect him back in week five, so it wasn't. There's still not a big thing in the air. At least McVeigh was like, we do expect him back. Right, we put them on it's the short fun, term. This is I am ten times more excited about watching Rams football after these last two weeks. Yeah, Stafford looks great. The offensive line is protecting. I don't think he's been well, they finally sacked got once. to him. He yeah. got sacked once or twice, I think. But McV- the offense looks back to be a McVay well schemed offense. Um, uh, speaking of other guys who probably couldn't be good either, Kyron with his four six forty time. Right, we'll, 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 we'll get, we'll get into Kyron just a sec. So I, I don't I don't think you can lose by. Uh, you know, moving off of him for a first. You, no. you, you caught lightning in a bottle. So if you want to go either way, I can't necessarily argue with you. I think I'm mostly in your camp of that. I got this guy like I just if you're getting 15 targets a game now, Cooper Cup can come back and. Yeah, but then what does he drop can, down to 10? Right. I mean, I, just, I can't see a world where you go down and all of a sudden he's only getting three or four targets a game all, you know, right off the rip right i mean so that that would be the next argument for the people who are anti puka would be that cooper cup comes back and now cooper's the hog and puka's not worth what you could have got for him so you should have got what you could have got for him 20 targets oh my god is anybody got any other thoughts on that you know rationale yeah, I mean, he's playing the role that we thought he would play, and it's not the Cooper Cup role. It's the Robert Woods role. I mean, uh, shout out to Matt FF Dynasty, so at Matt FF Dynasty. Uh, but, I mean, snap position by year 2021 for Cooper Cup, slot 56.7, wide 37.6, and other, so just gadget plays, 5.7. Puka Dakua so far in these two weeks, slot 29.7 and out wide 70.3. He He's playing the Robert Woods role, which is what we projected for him. He's not playing the Cooper Cup role. So when Cooper Cup comes back, this is something that can coexist. Yeah. This yeah. is really something that I'm I'm buying if somebody thinks they're gonna sell for a two. I don't think anybody's doing that anymore. That's no. something you should have done last week. But everybody said that if Puka Dakua does this against the staunch Niners. 49ers defense, that he's for real. We have to really feel like that's the case now. Yeah. I mean, we've seen this with with some guy. We've seen it every once in a while be lightning in a bottle and, and fade away. And then we've seen it, you know, be Tyree Kill, um, who is, you know, one of the best receivers. Now he's he, nowhere near he's what Tyree, Tyree spot, Kill. speed wise. But I mean, there's not much like one of one of the Rams catch. offense been ridiculous. The, he's not when they had two great wide receivers. I mean, thank you. You yeah. know, and, and don't get me wrong. It doesn't look like he's doing anything extra special out there he just is exactly where he needs to be right when he needs to be there and and his hands look as sure as any hands like he's yeah. making incredible catches and Stafford's playing out of his mind like that week one uh corner route or what where he he just yeah that corner route was beautiful. He, he barely it was like a fingertip catch but it was like how did he even make that throw how do you even see that <laughs> yeah. much and, less and, and, make that catch in such tight quarters and, and and keep your feet in you know yeah, he's playing like a veteran out there and being exactly where he needs to be. He's fit, and it's definitely his skill set and and his ability to run these routes, these intermediate routes, are jiving perfectly with what McVay's doing right now. And it's well, just a perfect storm. Seen, of, well, speaking of the Worth Rams offense, we've even seen Tutu Atwell take a step forward. 
right. as a as right. a usable piece in this offense. So who do you think's getting pushed to the side? Tutu or or uh, you know Puka? So, uh, Van Jefferson is well, the answer for sure. He's oh the answer. God. But um, so yeah, no, I, I think. All right, so how about any any of the first round wide receivers from the rookie draft? Essentially, like where would you kind of take Puka Nakua in the rookie draft right now, um, if you could? Would, would you? Is there JSN? <laughs> no, he would be. No, I think he's Zay I think, Flowers. No, I think he slots out. Well, after. we got to start at the top and then yeah, work back, no, right? Just just move past the first four because it's none of that. So you, I'd trade him for Quentin Johnston right now. No, no, no. You would trade Quentin. Right. I would trade Quentin Johnston Puka for Puka Nakua right now. Christ. I would do it. Uh, uh, Done. I like I think I'm bailing on Quentin Johnston. Give I'm me gonna it. take yeah. Puka Nakua. How about so Jordan Addison? It, it's not the fact that you no. can. It's the fact that you don't have to, and you can still probably get a piece with it, and people think that they're still getting ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I how about probably holding Addison. Add, how about, how about Addison? Addison's look pretty good thus far, too. I think I'll hold Addison. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, hold Addison. He, uh, his route participation is, is just increasing. Mm-hmm. He's still learning, uh, and I think that he's going to be a huge blow-up player for the back half of the season. All right. How about tight end premium Dalton Kincaid? Kincaid. It's Puka. Is, is, is Dawson Knox? Really? Is Dawson Knox out there? And yeah, Kincaid. They were just, yeah, Kincaid, Let me get Puka. Kincaid snaps have been down. Puka. They just went down a little bit. That's fine. Uh, I, I think I still lean a little Kincaid, but it's close to Puka. Um, Laporta or Puka? Laporta's been solid through two weeks, too. Laporta for you and premium? Yeah, still, still Laporta. He, he's shown to be somebody who's earning targets in that offense. But then that's is that pretty much it then for the first round or for the rest of the rookies? He's over all the running, he's over all that second tier running backs. Is there anybody I mean, else? I'll send Mayor for him. Does that work? Yeah, I don't even know if that's happening. That's probably not happening right now. You know, he's oh, on the no plummeter one's trading list. you Puka for Mayor, right? No. So I mean, I think we're. I think that's it, right? Yeah, there yeah. it is. You know, so. All right, uh, let's let's go to Kyron Williams. Buy, sell, hold. What are we doing with Kyron Williams? Because he also seems like a league winner right now, like somebody who not sure what the long term plan is going to be with him. But I think he could. He's he's certainly, you know, giving you a ridiculous boost uh, week in week out. And once again, is he for real? I don't know. But Acres got benched, and they he was good against the Niners. Yeah. That's you know what yeah. what bar do you want to cross here? It's really hard to say right now. I mean, I, I think I'm holding Kyron because uh, I, I can't. I can't move off for what I think he's going to sell for still. It's tough to see this continuing week to week. I think this offense being at like the fact that, again, I know we're just using the Niners and it's a divisional game that they went there and the offense functioned like we saw the offense function week one. I don't think it's anomaly so or an anomaly. So I think I think this Kyron usage worked who they got. Like, I think it works the rest of the season. I don't know what it does long term. The but. only thing that scares me about Kyron is the fact that Jonathan Taylor is still in the Colts. Because the Rams were talked about a team that was interested in Jonathan Taylor. And if John, if you can get Jonathan Taylor at a discount... You, you, you're, Listen, you're, if Jonathan Taylor comes and ruins my Kyron, I'm going to live with I'm it. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. But uh, you're talking about buying Kyron. I'm a little... Yeah. I don't know. He's the long term answer. He's looked pretty good thus far, but we we've been talking about some running backs. There's, there's been you know none of them have been as great as you want them to be outside of a few. Uh, I mean, Kyron's been you know very solid through two weeks. Is, so there's no there's no buy uh, action with with. Kyron I mean, what do you what I mean? What are you paying for him? I mean, at this point, you know, would you buy him for a two? I think so. Right. Kyron late two. Any two. I mean, at this yeah. point, it's got to be any two. Right. You can't make that designation at this point i i guess we gotta wait and see man right because if they bring in somebody who they could bring in they could bring in anyone the, uh, my point is is they just functioned and he yeah, just functioned really well yeah it, yeah like i don't why and then he and carry the load though they need somebody else he, he well they have they still have what's his nuts who used to play for the broncos um no um, i know it's not ronnie hillman uh no, royce freeman royce freeman and zach evans isn't even isn't even making the isn't he didn't make he wasn't active, active is, this go around. It was Ronnie Rivers. Weeks. Yeah. Uh, you know, which, Jake Funk. You know, I think Jake I think Jake Funk, Funk's on Jake, the Colts. Jake Funk is on the Colts. Oh, he I was think, on um, the he was. Well, Fantasy Tech said he lost us. But man, you know, I, I, I think I'd buy Kyron for a two right now without much of batting an eye. Like obviously if I'm a if I'm a competitor, 
Like I, and I need running back. I just, you're not getting a whole lot of running back production from anywhere yeah. right now. And I, he, he seems like, yeah, I mean, if be, you lost Barkley or Dobbins or who knows what's going on with job, you know, how about Kyron for a two? Are you back? There we go. There we go. So Kyron for a two. Would you buy Kyron, Kyron for, for a two? two? No, I'm holding for a two. Uh, honestly, I think he's too big of an asset to your team right now for a team if you need an RB that I'm not moving him. Would you rather have a two or Kyron? He said it right. KG heard it wrong. He did say it right oh. in that time, Case. <laughs> would, you buy, would you buy Kyron for a two? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. He yeah. said it right that time, and I got it wrong. How about yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you win some, you know, you lose some. We just can't get it right today. We'll take it. All right. You win some, you lose some. Hey, you can say that phrase after <laughs> anybody says anything. that You don't know what to say back. You say, hey, well, you win some, you lose some, and they will always agree with yeah, you. Yeah, that's the way I feel about Alexander Madison. You win some, you lose some. Mm. I like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, all right, let's uh, let's go Nico Collins here since we've talked about him and Stroud just absolutely slaying right now. Wide receiver six, fifth in yards. You know, he's put up 14 and then 27 this past game. He's got to be near the top of the list. For, he's he's a, yards per route run. He is uh, yards per route run 2.86. So that'd be that'd be up pretty high. 14.4 a dot eighth and yak, which, you know, this offense is kind of a 49er sort of off spin so there's going to be some yak available in that bobby slowick offense and nico just seems like he's kind of sliding right in there and, and potentially could be him and tank the one to go to uh, robert woods isn't going to be long for this offense they could right, he's they, only 15th though could they could be um that's still pretty good for you know there's no way in the world you thought nico collins would be 15th in yards per route run uh at this point he's 11th season. if you get if you got a 20 percent. well so. you got to go to 20 percent. there's no uh, so what are we doing with Nico? Is there, um, you know, I think you're not, in, you, there's certainly no, if you could get a first in one way, shape or form, you would take it right now, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So we're not, we're not quite there, but what would be the, what would be the buying price point for you for, for Nico? Cause I'm mostly uh, holding for me. Or, or a player similar. Two twos, not two, two at well, but two twos. I mean, <laughs> yeah, two seconds. Uh, let's see here. How about Jahan Dotson? We talked about him earlier. No, Dotson. No, Dotson for sure. Dotson for sure. Okay. How about Calvin Ridley? A little older. Had a good week one, down week two. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Ridley. I mean, I'll I'll send Collins for that for sure, unless I'm getting something on top. How about Christian Kirk? Uh, Collins. I think I'd pull that trigger. The usage for Kirk has scared the shit out of me. He was out of my lineup week two. Obviously came in. Zay missed some time. They were in 11 a lot, which they, he he's not even playing really a ton in two personnel right now, which is weird. I think I'd make that move. Absolutely. I'll take Collins. Uh, Zay Jones being out and and basically like if he had two feet down, really sealing this game away and we mm -hmm. feel a lot different in yeah. week two. Um, yeah. Yeah. Jerome Ford just hit a 70-yard rushing touchdown. So He's fucking it. Stop sending strays at my guy. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think Bateman's kind of out of there right now. How about Keenan Allen? If, if you're, would you swap that out? You said Keenan for what? Collins. Nico Collins. Yeah. Keenan I could, I could turn Nico. I could turn Keenan into Nico. I mean, Keenan's going to ball. I would, so if I'd you're be that guy that wants something on top, but yeah, I do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that, that's that's a nice little Nico. How about Tank Dell? Was is, is he is he on the radar for you yet? Came in, got ten Bye. targets. Bye. Bye, yeah. my dude. Yeah, yeah. I agreed. Been I got him in a ton of places, so I don't have to buy him. I traded into that third Same. and grabbed him a lot. Uh, but seems like this could be a really fun pairing for a long time with CJ Stroud, right? And yeah. CJ Stroud showing us something. So we're these are all pretty good buys for me um, with Nico and, and Tank. I think your boy Musgrave is a buy right now. What do you, how do you read that? Solidly. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the utilization is coming. I, I think that he's, uh, you know, he's had really great route participation, which we knew he would have. Uh, it's just, there hasn't been enough ancillary pieces that have stepped up outside of Dobbs and now Reed that have kind of made him a factor more than, I think that it's coming. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. I, I think that, we're going to see more and more targets over the middle for, for Musgrave for sure. Yeah. Agreed. I got Javante Williams as a buy. I think they're keeping the usage a little lower. I think he looks like he's back. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he's limited by anything. I think they're kind of keeping the usage down a little bit. He looks pretty, he'd look pretty good to me in these last two games. 
I, I haven't be, seen much of. I'd be buying Javante. I haven't seen much of P Ryan. I don't think that anybody's selling is the problem. I don't, I don't think. think I don't think so. So long. I don't think so necessarily either. But I mean, maybe just you know, people are week to week with with this thing, and he's not producing necessarily. And some people don't care about the rationale. So I think there there could still be a window open. He didn't come back and just you know shut the window completely. I guess is kind of my yeah, point. So I mean, feel it out. But what are you buying for? Uh, I mean, I think I, I would for sure send two twos. That's no problem at all. Yeah. And I, I mean, there's a chance that, you know, if I could do a late first, but we don't know at this point what the late firsts are going to be. Yeah. Um, but the value stayed strong all off season, even coming back from an injury for the most part. So it feels like it's at least semi insulated for now. I like that. They're kind of working them back a little slower. I don't know if the Broncos are any good or not. Um, Oh, Russ, Russ doesn't look good. I think he's uh, leading in completion percentage, uh, but um, so that's the thing for me. I don't think I'd pay a one. I don't think I can yeah. do it. I, I really don't. With uh, with just how the offense has looked as a whole, I I, I think that it's going to be very weird on a week to week basis. I, I would like to. I think the talent was there. The the injury definitely derailed things from him gaining steam to this point. Um, but. Man, I still have no faith in Russell Wilson actually being a thing on a week-to-week basis. So I think that really caps him. Would you sell like Swift and and a two to get him? I mean, I think you got to all no. day long. No, you wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. All right. How about anybody else here? Swift and a two for Javante. Yeah, I'd take that swing. Uh, you you might get you probably pretty close to getting Javante for Swift, right? Just straight up. Yeah. I mean, twenty eight carries. Up, you could, would you, you do it? it done. Would I, you do it straight up? Well, I wouldn't. But you're keeping Swift. You know that that's hard press. Actually, I guess I would take that. Okay. All right. Uh, I just don't think you can get it done right now. Yeah. Does Does anybody have any screaming cells right now that that you wanna that you're trying to get out of? Christian Kirk for me would be one that I would after a nice bounce back that I might try to get out of. We already talked about him. Anybody have anybody that you're like Kyle Pitts? Kyle Pitts, it's a bad time to sell Pitts. Can't sell Pitts right now. Should have fucking sold him a long time ago. I'm hanging on to Pitts. There's, I'll never I'll buy. I'll never sell. I'll buy dead. again. He's gonna be I'll dead. Buy. He's gonna be dead. No, he's gonna be like 23, three years from now. Yeah, I'll buy this, again. This is where you want to be. This is where you want to be when Jesus comes back. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. I'll take. I'll take. I'll take some on top and get take T.J. Hawkinson all day. That's about how stubborn I'm gonna be. I'm gonna hold him until Jesus comes back. That's I'll right. Tell you that. That's right. Um. Is there so no nobody really jumps off the page for you guys as a screaming cell week for for around the week two area here? Uh, Sky Moore, I, I think you can sell him right now, and I think you can get a little bit of a premium. Really? Yeah. After the one game. Yeah. One game. I think that decent is, targets in week it's one. It's not the biggest pop game, but I, I think that Kelsey on a snap count kind of inflated his numbers, and I, I think that you could probably sell him. I'm not saying you absolutely have to. He's probably just a hold or two a sell. Uh, but honestly, I think Kelsey just coming back is going to be all the difference for that offense. And we talked about B-Rob before. That's a, everybody's holding. Yeah. Brian Robinson. Yeah. Yeah, or selling on an absolute premium. But I, I love how B-Enemy has, has approached how they're going to utilize B-Rob. So uh, I, I can't get away from him right now unless I'm getting absolute top dollar. Obviously, Nick Chubb just went down. Um, at Ramondre given so it, give, teams for me. Ramondre given anybody uh, buyer's remorse at all? I'm 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 fine with him. Fifteen for fifty and a touchdown, and he also had he still three looks for ten. Still looks great. Um, yeah. Not I, I think the yeah. Pats. Well, it's not like Zeke's coming out as a world beater either. So yeah. I don't like that they're giving him as much usage in both rushing and passing as they have, though. That mm-hmm. that is that is really took the uh, you know taking the wind out of my sails as far as just being fully in on Ramondre. Uh, I think it killed his upside, which we saw he was definitely capable of last year. And now, I mean, it, even if he takes just what we've seen so far, w- w- what are we doing with him? Because mm-hmm. I mean, you paid a premium, right? Yeah. People were deciding Ramondre or Tony Pollard. I mean, I know for, that's a bad decision, but that, that's the decision they were making. Yeah. Well, I mean, and I think, I think if you get a little uptick in usage and you get the the Patriots' offense rolling a little bit, which I think you you 
you might see here going, I, I, don't, I like what they're doing. I liked what I saw week one. Week two was, eh, you know, I, I didn't really like the game plan for week two, but I like kind of where they could be going. I don't hate Mac Jones by any means. Um, offensive line looks looks okay. Miami was was giving him a hard time with that O line in this last game. I think Ramondre is a great player. You just need a little bit of the 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 uptick of of you know the 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 targets uh, per route run essentially coming uh, back up in that crazy range where he was last year in the CMC Eckler area. Yeah, I don't think we get that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't I know mean, that we are. So if you yeah, could, I, I don't believe in Mac Jones though. I, 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 he's shown well to be honest. But maybe I'm being stubborn at this point, but I, I, I don't see it with him. I, I think that there was an actual discussion that people had last season about you know Zappy coming in, and that's all I needed to know about Mac Jones. Unfortunately, they had a defensive um, coordinator calling plays though, you know. And you yeah, said he showed fair. well. You saw it. You see it. You see yeah. it. Yeah, yeah he but where, well. well, where was Bailey Zappi before the season started on the practice squad? Cut. Yeah, that was. I that mean, was... they didn't have a single backup quarterback on the on the damn roster. So, <sighs> I, I've been I've been selling down downshifting and buying Mac Jones from oh, some some other quarterbacks, and you know I, I think Mac's going to be just. I think he's just fine. I don't think he's a world beater by any means, but I I think he's going to be is just fine. He was just fine as a rookie. He was bad in the middle there with a defensive coordinator. And now he's bounced back and been all right with probably the worst receiving core in the league. Uh, you he's know. definitely one of the players that I'm okay being wrong on. Um, Cause I, even out of college, I mean, he was a good player. It, yeah. it, it's hard to, to really say he was going to be bad coming out the gate. Uh, and the Patriots have shown multiple times, you know, multiple times that they really don't need a ton of, to keep the offense moving and really just be predicated on defense and just let somebody manage them to a win. But he's, he's shown well these last two games. I, I can't yeah. be too upset with it. I just, I've seen bad from Mac Jones. I, I just, I have, and maybe I'm just holding on to those <laughs> bad games. How about, all right, how about last one here? James Cook coming off a big game. Anybody want to get out from James Cook if you can, or, or are you a, a believer or how, how are we feeling? I could definitely get I, off James Cook right now. Depending yeah. on what the offer is, yeah. He, he was he hung around in drafts this season because he was really hyped last year and then didn't didn't give you what you wanted. So he he was that uptick higher ceiling home run swing kind of thing in the, you know, eight to tenth round startup range, which was kind of hard to avoid at some points, especially if you waited on running backs. So if you took a little gamble there, you, you you're seeing a little value uptick. You could probably upgrade yourself from James Cook to something better. Yeah. Would you go from James Cook to B Rob? Sure. I think you can get that done. I, I I think that people will probably have more faith in the Buffalo offense uh than they will in the Washington offense. So I think that's something you can get done and I absolutely would do that. Would you do the would you do Cook and a second for a first. For Very straight. roster dependent. I, I, I don't think, think you're vacuum, get, I don't think you're getting first cold. straight up for Cook. I mean Maybe, but I think you're probably more likely getting two twos. You probably yeah. got to hold another. Yeah, that's that's probably his price range right now for a first. I, I'd use him to to upgrade players. You know. Yeah, I think that's. I think he's a. That's that's where I'm at too. Yeah. I think I traded. I forget what I. I did trade James Cook right before a draft a couple of weeks ago, and I I forget what exactly what I traded him for. Um, maybe David Montgomery in the first. From somebody who had been after him all off season long, just kept coming. I just kept turning him down, turning him down, turning him down. What was the deal? I think I might have. Think I might have got James Cook. Got rid of James Cook for like Montgomery in a first or something. Something along those lines. What? That's a lot. That's a good deal. I did you did you have him at gunpoint? Hey, people like guys. <laughs> they keep coming. You keep turning them I down. They they keep up in offers. You say all right. <laughs> Uh, yes. I sold for what could be considered low at the time, but it was preseason, and I got David Montgomery and Puka. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, I do, I do want to give a job. shout out to uh, Derek Brown, who's been a big Puka guy, and a shout out to Matt Hicks, the, the educator, who's been a huge Puka guy. Um, so you gotta gotta give them gotta give people love when they're. Have you been a big Puka guy? Is that is that why you're broing me? I uh, I challenged anybody to pull up receipts on when they were in on Puka to beat me because I actually have it on my Twitter profile, sorry, X profile that uh yeah, Puka gang. Like I, I've been in very, very early. I love I love that we're now at a, a 
puka pissing contest. That's Ooh, what yeah, I'm who, here who for like that. puka earlier. Yeah, wait, 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 you gotta get the Debbie guys. You gotta get the Debbie guys out there because he did have a two thousand yard receiving season in, in high school. Of course so. he did. Uh, yeah, big big shout out there. So anybody have any any more buys then? Since we're about to run run out of here, quick couple of quick shots at, at some buys that you like right now. Buy JSN. Buy JSN. Go feel it out now. I don't hate that. I saw somebody put Michael Thomas at the bottom of this sheet. Is is that MT? Is that who that is? Yeah, I would assume. I'm I'm very interested on the trajectory that he's had. Uh, it, you know, he is probably really really cheap, uh, and he's somebody that I think could really assist you in a championship run. If you feel you're you're a competing team, I mean. I checked before we jumped into the show and he was at nine targets. Yeah, that's, that's pretty wild. Yeah, I mean, everybody was trying to get rid of him before the season. I don't know where, where people are going to stand at him right now. Are. I haven't explored, but I think somebody would be happy to get rid of him. What do you think that price point is? You, you, you think you could get that done for just a two straight up? Oh, yeah, I think oh, you can, sure. absolutely. I think you might and be able to It's something third. that it just depends on your team build. But, yeah, that's something you can get done right now. If you need an every week flex play, I think Michael Thomas could get that done for you and really exactly. take you over the PBR, top. He's, yeah. he's definitely somebody I'm targeting. Once traded Michael Thomas for four first. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it gets going. All right, let's, uh, let's sign off here. We've been going for a little while. We got the Patreon rolling on Wednesday night. We'll hit it over there. We'll do a little bit more uh, game-style recap, sports radio talk uh, deal like we're doing. Uh, we got our guy, KJ. Um, what's the Twitter handle or the X handle or whatever the hell? It's at the FFB Tech. Make sure you go follow him. We're going to be having KJ around uh, a bit more whenever his schedule allows. Uh, we got some fun stuff coming up. We got a uh, next week. Uh, we're going to do a one round 24 rookie mock. Uh, and then the 2024 week 2024 rookie mock. Yeah. And then the next week we're going to do a, soon. Uh, we're going to do a uh, re-ranking the uh, 2023, rookies. 2023 rookies, top 24 of those. And then week five, we will be doing starting to mess around and move some guys up and down in the dynasty rankings, uh, you know, not just have a fun conversation week too so hopefully we'll see kj on some of those um and and you know i don't know how long we'll keep live streaming for but we definitely want to do it for the first couple of weeks um so yeah sorry for the technical difficulties early on that was a bummer yeah all good though we, we made it through no big deal uh but we appreciate you guys and uh, we'll catch you next time peace <laughs>